Hey, what's up? Welcome back. We have been checking out the Tool album titled Undertow, and so far, we're having a lot of fun here. Up next is a song called Bottom. We're gonna listen to it once all the way through, no interruptions, and then we're gonna go back and listen to it again with a few comments. If you're ready, grab your headphones, and let's rock. All right, here we go. Ah. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, cool. It's like you're affected by carriers. A lot of feedback going on. Ah, oh, dude, beautiful. <laughs> to aid you, to erase you. I've gone to great lengths to expand my threshold of pain. I've used my mistakes against you. There's no other choice. Show us now. Name us now. 
Oops, sorry. Different drums. Oh, okay, all right, all right. That was awesome, man. First impression, excellent song. A lot of great movement. Let's have one more listen, and this time we're gonna listen to it a little bit more carefully, and we're gonna break down a few little pieces that I liked. Here we go. Nice strong ending. Hit the road running. Love these little accents. Man, awesome. So it's heavy, it's bottom heavy. Everyone comes in attacking this thing and then it quiets down in the guitar uh, department to give way to this awesome bass, man. It's got a lot of attitude, very fitting for what I heard uh, lyric wise. That guitar ringing, feedback coming in. Love that distorted guitar, a lot of picking, like mute picking. Love that. Has a very primal beat. Perfect vocals here. Uh, talking about something internal, right? A lot of reflection. So that voice, that relaxed voice, like, compassion is broken now. It's very much inner voice like. He doesn't like this ugly feeling, right? It makes me feel. He says it in a normal tone and then he goes, ugly. Like, that's, that's the hurt part. So smell my soul is burning, man. He's going through some really hardcore stuff. But what I really love about this now is you have hints of the newer tool. Something changed, man, from the previous album to this one. Something definitely changed. They tightened up big time. The guitar here, man, the switch up. You have a little bit of a lower tone, right? And when it switches up to this part, Maynard switches vocals, guilt, fed, and the guitar goes up a register and you can hear higher picking here. This is awesome. This gives me uh, Jungian 
vibes. He looks up to see his enemy, Shadow, more than likely. Unless he's speaking about some kind of an external enemy, but I don't think so because of the way it says, and I've swallowed the poison you feed me. I mean, it could be something external, but everything else kind of points to an inner turmoil, inner, inner conflict. It survives. He survives. He's in guilt. Who else feeds you hatred? Eat it up. But again, sorry, I wanted to point out that guitar. Switch up. Love it. Everybody comes in. Awesome scream. We're dragging this thing. Build up. I love that effect. Whatever that vocal effect is, I love it. It reminds me of, of the backup vocals in Vicarious. So this is uh, foreshadowing all that, right? Shit adds up, shit adds up. It's awesome, dude. Okay, cool. Shit adds up at the bottom, right? That voice sounds to me very much like if I were a prisoner to my shadow and I'm yelling out and I'm saying shit adds up, you would hear it like very faintly, right? Because the shadow's voice is much more, much more louder. Yeah, I know my English. <laughs> it's much louder than your voice, right? So he's saying shit adds up to the bottom. This is a journey here. What we're, what we're doing is we're going down, 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 down into the bottom, into this next spoken word part. Danny switched over to the rim. And this very swing-like. A lot of feedback. We're in a new space, man. We're in a dark space. Creepy, crawly, dark, unknown. Oh, that bass is so sexy, bro. Listen to that. Like a transistor. Deafening. Man, they play with feedback so beautifully, bro. I don't think I've ever heard a band play with feedback like that. Except maybe Deftones. Oh. Two things I love about this. One, that guitar is mysterious. It's, it's definitely its own character in this story. Almost like a guide. Almost like saying, okay, we're down here at the bottom and we're gonna learn some things. It's very soothing still, but it's like a guide. The second thing I love is that backup guitar. There's a background guitar that's doing some arpeggios or some kind of, you know, some little riffs in the background. If you're not paying attention, you'll miss it. I love it, because it's like maybe another character that's hidden in the dark. See that? Do If I let you, so who's in control? That freaking, uh, that kick and that snare, man, it's like a heartbeat. It's like <laughs> very primal, man. Ah, I love that. I can sink no further, and I cannot forgive you. I was off in the pattern, but.
Playing with some harmonics there. You can hear that guitar in the background. Like, almost like saying, yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, that's right, we're about to confront you. It talks, man, if you listen to it. Dude, I love that. Look at how deep is that, man? There's no choice but to confront you, to engage you, right? You gotta face that dark part of you, of yourself, that part that pushes you down, the part that feeds you all the negativity, the part that feeds you the guilt, that tells you you're not good enough, you're not strong enough, you're not this enough, you're not enough of that, whatever. And it points out all your mistakes, right? He's saying, <laughs> what he's saying here, he says, I've gone through great lengths to expand my threshold of pain. Well, the way that I'm taking this is that pain could kill you, but what he's done is he's expanded, he grows his, how much pain he can take, how much pain he can withstand. And he says, and I'll use my mistakes against you. How? How can we use our mistakes against this shadow? By wising up, maybe? By wising up, by learning from our mistakes and then moving forward with what we've learned or taking what we've learned and then applying it. And the next part, man, come on. See, the music was like a sigh in the music. <sighs> no shame. No name, nothing, no thing, no thing. That was already the, the, the beginning of the awakening of the drums as we start building up and intensifying the music was that he just pops that snare. Beautiful work. And then the drag. Oh man, he's used this. Lateralis? Dun cat that beat is used again later in the future. I know it. Somebody, look, Tool Army, you know, you know better than I do. If I picked it up, I know you picked it up. Help me out here. There's a difference in, in beat here. Listen to this. And then. those drags, bro. I love this little bouncy beat, man. Feedback. And then we think it's over, right? Nope.
A little punk there. <laughs> Oh man, the guitar just passed by. Oh, and that scream, man. Come on, Maynard. It's very uh, mega death. <laughs> Me, me, me. Feedback. Fantastic song, man. Excellent. Look, if you're listening to that, you can't help but follow that beat. It's infectious. You can definitely feel a maturing in the music. Feels to me like they see a target and they're pulling the arrow back with this album and they're ready to, to shoot and just go all in in this sound that they've developed or that they've evolved. I think I'm getting used to the offbeats. It, it was very jarring at first, like, man, they switched it up. Okay, okay they switched it up again, but I love it now. <laughs> I can almost anticipate where they're going, so that could be a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> if you stuck to the end, I wanna thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button on your way out if you like this video. Hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice, and I'll see you in our next adventure. Peace, bye.